So every relationship has a purpose, whether it's good or bad. So step number two, step number two is find your focus friends. Everybody say focus friends. Find your focus friends. Now that's a term that I made up. You're not gonna find that in Google. So a focus friend is someone in your life that will hold you accountable. Someone in your life that will tell you the truth, even if it hurts. Someone in your life that will give you wise counsel and help you to stay focused on your purpose in God. Because they genuinely love you. Now that's a real BFF. Best focused friend. That's a real BFF. Let's go to Luke chapter 6 verse 13. Now we're catching up when Jesus is praying all night long. And the word of the Lord reads. And when the day came... He called his disciples and chose from them 12 who he named apostles. So he'd been praying all night. He came down and he had all of the, all the disciples with him, hundreds of people, maybe even thousands of people. And he chose among those disciples 12 and he changed their name. He gave them the title of apostle. Those were his close people. He didn't make that decision on his own. Who gave, who gave him the names of those, of those guys? Who do you think? The father did. Exactly. Exactly. So when you get along with God and you focus, get a fresh focus on your purpose, on, on what God is doing in your life, God will give you instruction. God will help you make those tough decisions. So we all have acquaintances and people that we know, you know, friends, uh, family. But sometimes God will give you people that's extra close to you that will help you to stay focused on your purpose. And there are some people right now in your life that are taking your focus away from God. Now, I don't know who they are. I'm not shooting no slugs or nothing like that. But remember, if anything or anyone is taking your focus away from God or trying to turn you away from your purpose, that relationship needs to be re-evaluated. You know what I'm saying? Amen. Amen. Now, I'm not saying that you banish them to hell for eternity. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying, go to God and say, Lord, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? So that's why it's important to have focused friends. Now, before I got in the home, I was, I was just, I was kind of making decisions on my own. I was just doing whatever I wanted to do whenever I wanted to do it. And I have people around me, you know, that I would go and, and talk to and stuff like that. But ultimately, though, I was like, well, I'm going to do what I want to do anyway. And I would just smile. They would tell me stuff. And I would just smile real nice and polite. I'd be like, yeah, OK, praise God. But in my heart, I was saying, I'm not doing that. I'm not going to do that because that was pride. That was pride because I was my own God. I was my own God. I was worshiping myself in a real subtle way. Because I just did whatever I wanted to do. But then when I got into the home, God put around me strong men of God that will hold, help, hold me accountable and tell me the truth, even if it hurt. And I thank God for that. I really, really thank God for that. I mean, people like Pastor Ray, uh, CJ, Mikey, uh, Anthony Gomez, um, uh, Jubal, um, Nick, and everybody on the staff, everybody, they, they were like, look, do this, do that, do this. And it feels good to have people around me that'll keep me focused. Amen. Amen. You need people like that. You need people like that around that's going to encourage you in your relationship with God. So Jesus picked the 12 uh, the, um, apostles because he knew that they would carry on his mission after he was gone. Now, he didn't need to be held accountable because he was God in the flesh. He was without sin. But there's still a certain group that he needed around him. Now, there were some people that he just had thousands of people following him, but those 12 were the close ones. Amen? Amen. Amen. So that's step number two. Find your focused friends. Thank you for joining us here at Rise Church Online. We hope today's message was impactful. Listen, we want to stay connected with you. So by clicking on the link below, you can find out how to do that. Also, by clicking on that giving link, you can help us continue to advance the kingdom of God through discipleship and outreach. 
please subscribe to our channel for all new content. We'll see you next week. Thank you and God bless.